The symposium, which is unique in many aspects, was attended by big names, such as former governor of Edo State, Loki Igbinidium, the governor of Abia State, Okezie Ibiazu, and the Honorable Minister of Transportation, Rotimi Amechi, amongst others. After the rich introduction, the country director of Amnesty International, Mrs. Osai Ijogo, took to the podium. She spoke on Nigerians' journey securing human rights and dignity for its citizens by 2030. She added that poverty in Nigeria is due to inability of the government to obey the rule of law. The Nigerian constitution embodies our fundamental human rights and our laws further entrench the full gamut of human and people's rights as contained in the African Charter on Human and People's Rights. As we go through our discussions today, my question is, how are we using our position, our power, differently to ensure that every human being, every citizen of Nigeria can fully experience a life of dignity and enjoy their fundamental human rights. Delivering the keynote address on the past, present and imagined opportunities for socio-economic development in Nigeria, Executive Director, Center for the Studies of the Economies of Africa, Dr. Chukuka Onyekwena called for transparency and accountability in the budgetary processes by the government. In translating the new priorities for inclusive growth into action, the sub-national actors, that is the states and the local governments, have a key role to play. Particularly, accounting accountability in decision-making processes fiscal discipline in budgeting and program implementation, and the adherence to democratic values are essential to the success of the country's inclusive growth agenda. While speaking, the convener and founder, the Osasu Show Foundation, Osasu Igbinidio, said this symposium is one of many events to help bridge the gap between the elite and masses in Nigeria. She disclosed that the foundation have visited several states in the Federation to help impact positively in the lives of the less privileged citizens. My crew and I made a decision to march into the heart of the violent situation in Agatu local government area of Benue State during the infamous Headsmen massacre. The chaos and devastation my crew and I witnessed was overwhelming. It was unprecedented and it left us in so much grief and despair. Our investigative missions have also taken us to southern Kaduna, Goska and Dangoma to be precise, Ogoni Land in River State, Ogbia Federal Constituency in Bayelsa State, Ungogo Local Government in Kanu State, amongst other volatile regions both home and abroad. At a panel discussion session, Transportation Minister and former River State Governor Rotimi Amechi, as well as other key figures, spoke on ways to grow the economy and sustain it. The government recognized the fact that if we don't produce and continue to depend on oil, when we steal the money of oil, this country will not grow, will not grow and will break up. So what did we do? We looked at the issue what can refer to as factors of production. The factors of production do not benefit Nigeria. Our emphasis has been to create wealth uh, to our people uh, using the avenue that they know already. The Osasu Show Foundation is a non-governmental organization created for the sole purpose of solving social problems and bridging the gap between those in authority and those they are governing. Osawana Mei Bizube, ITV News, Abuja.